so uh, this is my unboxing. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably do a review later with a more high quality camera. I'm just having some camera issues right now. So uh, here are the those Ray-Bans that I was talking about. Anyway, this is a package that it comes in. It's like, uh, it feels like some kind of like box made of bubble wrap or something. So that's what it feels like. Anyways, this is a box. I'm just going to have to cover my address somehow. That's, you know, that's how you know it's coming from China. And I'm going to do a rev uh, comparison of these to the, uh, the real ones that I have just for, you know, knowledge out there so people know. So, that is my address. So I'll just uh, cover that up. But, yep, that's the rest of the box. Alright, nothing special, so I will now cut this thing open. That's why it felt like styrofoam. It was actually a box made of, uh, or that's why it felt like bubble wrap. It was a box made of styrofoam. So it's a little messy, but um, I'll clean that up later. And I guess no hardcover box was included in these, so this is the case. All right, and I will again do a uh, comparison of. All this white stuff is just styrofoam pieces, like I said, it's a little messy, but I'll do a comparison of these versus my um, real ones when I get a better camera, or if I don't, then I'll just do it with this camera later. So more info coming along the way, but here's this one. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't include any um, box, because they actually said that they were going to do that, so I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, those are the cases. Oh, notice that there's no Ray-Ban logo on the button. Okay, so those are... They do come with some... Um, some of this stuff right here. None of it is in any kind of case. Right. And here are the glasses in a plastic pouch. They, just from first look, they kind of look smaller than my um, authentic Ray Bans. Like the lenses look smaller. They actually look really small. So that's the vision through them. Um, they do have this. I don't know if you can tell. There it is. They have that RB. It is, it is an etching, so that's pretty cool. And then they have the Ray-Ban logo up there. And they actually do, it's, it's really hard to see on this camera, but they do have the um, Ray-Ban logo on the nose piece underneath the, oh, what do you call it? The nose, the clear nose pad. So here are the other ones that I got. These are the Wayfarers. So, open these up. Not sure what the actual real Wayfarers are supposed to look like, but these also do have the etching there. They do have the Ray Band uh, cursive logo there. They have a little bump on the nose bridge, so I'm wondering if that's how that's supposed to be. They have this little tag. I will get into all of those details later. They have Ray Band. Um, on those. It's really hard to do with the cell phone in one hand. But. Okay, so, yeah, I think one thing they're supposed to have is, like, some special kind of hinge, but they obviously don't have those hinges. They have some code there. Um, says Wayfarer right there. 
One thing I'm surprised about is they do have like that inward s angle slant that you see people talking about, but the inside, I guess the, the one thing I can tell for sure is that these hinges are not the same. Um, this one's going to take a little bit of work. so tight. And I really don't want to do it, but I guess I have to cut them off. I'm going to try not to. Anyways, maybe I'll put that in the second video too. I'll work on getting that knot out. So these are the fakes right here. Um, the Wayfarers also come with pretty much the same documentation in this pad, and they have this red velvety interior, so more details to come, um, waiting on a different camera. Alright, bye.